everybody. How's it going? Ben Gothard here, founder and CEO of Gothard Enterprises and author of CEO at 20. And I just wanted to shoot this quick video outside in the beautiful city park in New Orleans. As you can see, this scenery is beautiful. I'm actually going to flip around this camera. Uh, if I can press the button. I'm going to flip around this camera and just show you some of this cool nature out here because nature is always beautiful and these beautiful swamps of City Park in New Orleans are something to take a gander at. So anyways, scenery aside, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the um, mix between nature and adventure and entrepreneurship. And I think that it's one that not a lot of people really talk about. Uh, and so I kind of wanted to pose a few thoughts and a few questions that you could think about and hopefully you could get something out of it and, and uh, you know, brighten up your day a little bit, maybe implement some of the things that I'm talking about into your business. So the first point that I want to talk about is adventure, right? And I think adventure is a huge part of being in nature because when you go out and you're kicking it in the woods or in the swamp, wherever the hell you may be, you know, you're, you're on an adventure. You don't really know what's going to happen. And all the different things that you're doing, all the experiences that you're getting, the people that you're meeting, whatever it is that you may be doing, it's new, right? And it's fresh and it's cool. And it's different from what you normally do, right? And so when you're surrounding yourself and immersing yourself in experiences that are always new to you and you're getting out there and you're doing things that are just different from what you normally do, then it allows you to take a different perspective on things and it allows you to get out of your own head and get out of your normal routine and think about things in a cool new way, right? So I'll give you an example. Well, one of the things that I like to do is to come out here and just be in nature and explore and you know figure stuff out and I like to think, right? Well, some of the things that I like to think about are how to be more creative and how to combine things in different ways and how to connect people and build things, right? Well, one of the things that nature does really well is it adapts and it figures out how to overcome different things. Like, you know, if say this tree right here, if this tree was you know, to lose a branch or lose a limb, that tree would continue to grow, right? And it would figure out how to overcome those challenges and it would adapt and it would learn and it would grow and it wouldn't really matter what else was happening because I mean it's a tree right like it's a lot so it's just gonna keep living and it's gonna keep doing its thing well I think as entrepreneurs we need to have that exact same mentality right we need to have that mentality of it doesn't matter what we're going through or what happens to us or the obstacles that we face we need to be like the trees here especially New Orleans because you know through Hurricane Katrina all the various you know obstacles that all the nature and, and all the beautiful things of the city have gone through it's come back and it's stayed here and there's nothing that is going to permanently keep it down and that is the same obstacle uh, overcoming mentality that we need to have as entrepreneurs right because we are gonna face obstacles we are absolutely going to be dealing with things that we've never dealt with before, right? That we've never encountered before, that we've never had to figure out before. Oh, look at this beautiful tree right here. And the things that we deal with and the things that we are figuring out, they're gonna make us stronger as people. They're gonna make us, here, let's go check out this, uh, this cool scenery back here. They're gonna um, make us better as people. They're gonna make us better as individuals, as entrepreneurs, and they're gonna help us grow and become more creative in not only our business, but in our lives. And so, is it a necessarily good thing to come out in nature? Yeah, absolutely, I think so. One, you get to be out in the fresh air, you get to get a nice little tan, make sure to stay hydrated, right? But it also lets you be more creative. It puts you in a new environment, a new, gives you a new perspective to where you can approach things from a different angle. You can learn from different things. You have different uh, external stimuli that will lead to different results, right? I believe it was Albert Einstein that says, if you repetition, something about repetition, and if you do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, that that's insanity, right? So change it up, shake it up, change your environment. If you're struggling with a problem, go out in nature. Go think about different ways that you can overcome it. Go be like the, these beautiful trees in New Orleans and overcome the things that stand in your way, right? 
yeah, Mary, how's it going? Thank you so much for that input. Uh, you know, I'm glad you had a great hike uh, to the waterfall. So when you go and immerse yourselves in this kind of nature, oh, look at that beautiful, like, see how it's going up the tree? The little vines are, are actually, like, climbing up the tree. They're growing up the tree, right? So even that, even right there, right? Let's go look at this even further. I'm so glad I decided to stop and, and look at this stuff. Hopefully I don't get any poison ivy right now. But anyway, so you see these little, um, these little, like, vines right here, right? This tree... And these vines are a perfect example of entrepreneurship. They are a perfect example of entrepreneurship. The tree is a big behemoth. Let's say that that's Amazon, right? Then these little vines right here, those are the sellers on Amazon, okay? These vines are figuring out something to grow on in order to bring themselves up. Hey, David, how's it going, man? Glad you could join. And so you can see the correlation between these vines and this tree to sellers on Amazon, for example, or sellers on eBay or your own store right you have to figure out how to adapt figure out how to overcome and just do it okay so what I think is the best part of nature is that you never know what's gonna happen I think that is very similar to entrepreneurship because doing the things that you do on a daily basis and this wind is uh, it's getting messed with my hair is aggravating but doing the things that you do on a daily basis to learn and to grow it is exactly like nature and being in nature gives you a different perspective so you can look at all these things and grow from it uh, my awesome parents are over there I don't know if you can see it they're with my dog Phoebe and uh, so I'm gonna go hang out with them and uh, I'm gonna go spend some time with the family so oh wait look Phoebe's coming over here Phoebe's coming over here Wait, I'm gonna flip the camera <gasps> and now <gasps> hey, Phoebe. oh that's perfect look how look how uh, good on the camera she is so Anyways, everybody that's uh, that's watching, I want to thank you, and just know that no matter what you're doing, no matter what you're going through, you can do this. You got this. Just keep going. And if you're struggling, go out in nature. Spend some time with your puppy dog. That's Phoebe. She's completely and totally adorable, and my number one homegirl. So, anyways, y'all have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. -bye.